Hi there guys, my name is Aaron and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit an amazing portrait step by step using some actions. So without further ado, let's get started. And here we are in Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, this portrait needs to be clean. But before we start retouching this portrait, make sure to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the raw file and retouching actions. So after you download the uh, makeup artist retouching actions, you have to click on the clean and click play. So for cleaning, we are going to use a spot healing brush tool. Zoom in here in the face and start cleaning this amazing portrait. Make sure, as I said, uh, make sure to check all the links in the description because you will find the retouching actions and this amazing raw file. Uh, you have to check my telegram channel where I put all the raw files that I use in video tutorials. So make sure to check all the links because they're there for something. Uh, you got to clean this portrait in the beginning so you don't have to worry about later for example we are going to clean the eyes here we have to clean the eyebrows just a little we have to clean this messy here because it will make this portrait look even better i'm going to speed up this process because it takes time only as the clean So here's a before and after of the clean and I think that it's starting to look okay. I'm gonna merge these two into a single one, click merge and click here on the frequency separation, click play. Wait until it's done and open the frequency separation. So we're going to work on the color first. I'm gonna use the mixer brush, click wet by 10% and load by 45, mix 45 and flow by 33. I'm gonna zoom in here in the forehead and I'm gonna start mixing the highlights with the skin tones but, but make sure uh, for this portrait because the the girl has some freckles so we don't want to remove them because they are looking okay but if you think that you want to remove the freckles just clean in the beginning and you are good to go but for this portrait i'm gonna leave them and i think that they kind of look fake but they are looking okay so this is an amazing portrait uh, by some photographer, link in the description. You can find the raw file and the name of the photographer. For example, if you use this uh, raw file for your touch and you post it on social media like before and after, make sure to tag the photographer because this is how it works in the retouching industry. You've got to make sure to mention everybody for example the model the photographer etc etc and enough talking about that because you are here to learn the retouching process i'm just telling you some info about the industry so make sure as i said before this girl has some freckles and you don't want to ruin them so you gotta be careful with this portrait check a before and after Zoom out just a little and you think that you have removed the freckles from for example here and here you can just click here and make a layer mask zoom in and with a black brush you can just paint it just like this and you are good to go and i think that it's starting to look good now keep working the mixer brush Now check a before and after all this frequency separation and I think that is looking okay. Now after we're done in the color it's time to work in the texture. Click on the clone stamp tool and zoom in in the texture. The so clone stamp tool works this way you have to click alt keyboard and hold it to copy just like this release it and then paint it. Make sure to copy paste the texture as near as possible for example if you don't want to mess the things around just don't do this technique for example copy here and paste it here it would create some bad marks so 
have to copy paste as near as possible and you have to keep working or cleaning the texture until you think that portrait is okay Now you can check it before and after all this frequency separation, and I think that is looking okay. Now merge these two in a single one, just like this. Merge layers, and click here on the dodge and burn, click play, and turn on the black metal player. Click on the dodge with a white brush and 10% opacity. I'm just going to dodge this portrait just a little. Now check a before and after of the touch and I think that is kind of way too much so I'm gonna go by 65 now click on the burn turn on the black and white hell player and burn the just a little around the forehead just a little the eyebrows maybe under the lips the side of the nose just a little you can check it before and after and if you think that is kind of too much just lower the opacity of this one check it before and after all that complete dungeon burn i think it's okay i merge them into a single one and i think that we have some kind of too much red color in this portrait so i'm gonna go to red removal click play and just paint it where we have some kind of too much red color this and it will reduce it just a little and i think that i'm going to reduce the red color of this portrait so just click play and put this for white one click on the hue saturations with a white brush 10 percent opacity i'm just going to paint it on this one and this one does remove the color for example if we put 100 you can see it will totally move but we are going to stick with the 10% just like this and you can check it before and after and reduce it by 25 maybe yeah 25 is okay now merge them into a single one now click here that says I retouch click ok click continue until it is done and zoom in in the eyes and the remove veins paint with the 100% white brush just like this this one will remove the veins but as you can see 100% kind of too much reduced by 45 click on the brightening this one is for the white of the eyes paint it just like this you can zoom out and check it before and after and again reduce it click on the eyeball brightening zoom in 100% brush just gonna paint it of them do the same process in both of the eyes i think that 100 is little by 95 click on the iris contour and paint it on the eyes just a little inside make them pop just like this i think it's okay after and merge them into a single one Click on the darken eyebrows, darken eyelashes, zoom in, and with a brush, just paint it on the eyebrows by making them darker. I mean, like if you want to, if you don't want to, you can just leave them as they are, just like that. Click on the darken eyelashes and paint them. Check it before and after. I think kind of too much. Gonna merge them again into one. Click on the smoky eyes and paint it around that makeup just like this. But you can see 100% this kind of too much. So I'm gonna reduce it by 5 or maybe 10. Check it before and after. I think that 5 will be enough. And merge this one click on the mascara click play 
and with a white brush just paint it on them eyelashes yes as always reduce them layers because 100 is kind of too much i click here that says eyeshadows pick a color i'm gonna create two of them i'm gonna zoom in and for example you can copy the color of the lips zoom in and just paint it around the eyes to make this makeup color look even better just like that you can zoom out and check it before and after it's amazing but 100 as i said before so we have to reduce it by 25 maybe and even create a different color for example i don't know blue maybe green that paint it and as you can see create some makeup on the portrait but one was weird so i'm going to stick this kind of pink color maybe this just paint it right here do the same process in both of them check it before and after okay but can reduce it here's a before and after merge them again and click here on the eyeshadow pop click play just paint it around the eyes this one works fine when you have uh, colors in your eyeshadows i think that this one is okay but reduce it by 25 something like that and again merge one now click here on the cheeks, click play, paint it a little, after I think, touch, merge one, click here that says lipstick color, click play, and you have to be accurate on this one, because lips are kind of too far, so I'm gonna create section around the lips just like this right click make selection and for the feather radius i'm going to go by zero because i will uh, reduce it later and control and delete to make this white we have to open the lipstick group and check them one by one until you find your best lipstick since we have this uh harsh red color i think that uh them are not working that fine because as i said the red color is way too much but for example you can double click here and switch the color into a different one until you find the best this red is making them even better as you can zoom in and the lines are too harsh you have to double click here on the their mask and for the feather i'm going to go by right just like this i think nine is fine check it before and after and I think it's okay, but reduce it by 45, just like this. I think that they are looking okay. And as you can see before and after all this lipstick color, I think it's okay. I merge the layers in the one. And now that we are done with the makeup details, time to put some sharpen, contrast, and face contour. Click play. Click continue, click OK until it's done. And uncheck them one by one. Click on the sharpen, make this white before and after. And I'm going to reduce it by 75. Now turn on the contrast, reduce it by 5. Click on the face contour, and I think that is okay. So here's a before and after of this entire process. Merge to a single one since it's done with a retouch. Uh, it's time for some color grade, so I'm going to put some color grade portrait. 
Okay, but I will check them one by one until I find the best color grade. So here we have both of them, A1, A10. I'm gonna check these layers one by one until we find the best color grade so far. So I'm gonna make changes in every single layer. Now check it before and after or in A1, sorry. I think it's okay, but reduce it by 75. Click on A10 and check them again one by one. I think it's okay but i'm gonna put some other adjustments on this one so i'm gonna go to selective color and yellows and make some changes this section just like this and i think that this one is too much click on the selective color again click on reds and make some changes too like this and i will group and rename color grade check it before and after this color grade i think it's okay i'll check it before and after all this entire process you can in here check it before after before this is after retouch and this is before this is after retouch color grade that's it so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the raw file and retouching actions and leave some comments if you think that i'm understandable or not leave some comments about my retouching skills if you think that you learned something from me or not and see you guys in the next one peace